The Connected Accounting and ERP software comes with a very powerful form editor that can really help present important information and sometimes critical information to your customers and to your vendors. It is important to note that forms, such as the invoice form that I'm showing you on the screen right now, are stored within the connected data file and they're not held separately on each user's machine. Some systems will hold those separately and it makes it very difficult when you're trying to update a form for all users if you have to go to each individual machine. Connected forms are updated centrally. To manage the changes in your forms, you simply go to the file menu, select company setup, and choose the forms that you wish to edit. In this case, I'm going to select the AR forms, which is short for accounts receivable forms. You can choose AP forms and edit such things as purchase orders and checks. In the AR forms, you can edit forms such as statements, packing slips, and quotes. To edit a form, simply point and click on it and click customize. This will open up the form editor window. You can resize the window by simply dragging the corner at the bottom. I've now got a form open that I can make changes to. So let's talk a little bit about some of the changes that we can do within the form. To move a field around, simply point and click on it and you can drag it by holding your mouse button down. Alternatively, you could use your arrow keys and just move it left, down, up, or right. If you wish to delete a field, you can point and click on it. In this case, I'm going to select the page number field, and then I'm just going to press my delete key. And as soon as I do that, the field is gone. It's deleted from the form. To change the appearance of a field, such as the font or the orientation, you'd click on that field, as I have here with the bill to address, click the text tab at the bottom of the window, and here you have access to make some changes. For example, I could bold the text, I could change the font, I could change the font size, I could change the justification. These are all done under the text tab. Keep in mind that the field has to be selected before you can update the orientation or the look. To add a field to a form, we have a couple of different options. Let's talk about adding a form field. A form field is done by selecting the button up at the top, form field. When you click on that and move your mouse over the form, you'll notice that it changes to a plus sign. Simply draw a box where you wish the new field to appear, let go of your mouse, at the bottom of the screen, make sure that the Fields tab is selected, and then you can choose from the form field list from any of the fields that are available. There is many, many fields available. In this case, I'm just going to choose the customer's fax number, and then I'm going to move that field down here. And we'll just resize it a little bit. So that's how we add a form field. You can also add text fields. Text fields aren't related to a specific piece of data in the system. They are just text that you type yourself. So to do that, you click on the text field button, move your mouse over the, the form again, it, the cursor changes to a plus sign, draw a box, and then you have an empty area to type text. To add text to the field, just double click on it and a little editor window will appear and you can add the text that you desire. Click off to release the field and then of course we can click back on it and use the text tab at the bottom of the screen to change the font, the orientation, or the font size for example. If we want to preview the form and see how it looks, we can click the preview button here. This will print a sample of the form to our screen. If we click this button, it will print a sample to our printer. Keep in mind that when you do this, it will use sample data just to give you an idea of the layout. The best way to see how the form works is to print it with actual data. Before saving the form and exiting the form editor, you may want to rename it. So let's look at how we can do that. 
to do that, we click anywhere in the form that doesn't have a field. So you've, if you noticed, I clicked right here in the center. I'm going to now go down and change the report name. We're going to call this Account Tech Invoice. We're going to change the description to say Account Tech Main Invoice. When I'm complete, when I've, when I've finished those changes, I'm going to exit and save. To do that, you click the finish button. Finish means I'm going to move, leave the window and save the changes. When I click finish, I've exited the window. I can now see my form listed here. So that is the invoice that I was editing. Once you've made a custom form, you will have to select it for printing and or PDF use. You do have access to the form um, as needed, but if you would like your form to be selected by default for printing, you would need to specify it at the bottom. So if I would like my account tech invoice to be selected each time a user hits print in the invoice screen, I can select it. If I also want that invoice to be used each time a user emails an invoice, I can select it there as well. One last change that we'll, we'll show is how to add a logo to the form. So to do this, I'm just going to open up the same form that we were using. Brings us back to the form editor, editor screen. I'm going to remove the text box by clicking on it and selecting delete. And then I'm going to add a picture or a logo in this case. For a logo to print or to come through clearly, you need to make sure that it's been scaled properly. Um, you don't want to use our form editor to scale your graphic. So to do this, I'm going to click the little icon up here. And this is paste from file. It has a picture on it, so it's easy to identify. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to show at the bottom, it has an enable option. I'm going to choose a PNG file because that's the file that I'm going to put in. But you can see there's other file types should you need it. I can't pick the PNG file unless I say enable. I've got a logo file ready to go on my desktop, so I'm just going to double click it and now I've got my logo added. I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it down to the right and there we go. And that's how you add the logo. So to save my changes, I just click finish and we're back to the form editor window.